Hi, I'm Spencer from the Board Game Rundown, and today I'll be showing you how to play Birds of a Feather Western North America. This is a card game for one to seven players with aspects of set collection, hand management, and it has a solo mode. Now, the object of the game is to score the most points by observing the rarest birds. Each card has a bird name, bird type, habitat, quantity, and point value. There are seven types of birds in the game. They are common, one, two, and three feather uncommon, rare, raptor, and ace. Each bird belongs to a specific habitat, and each habitat has the same number of birds available in it. The habitats are wetland, ocean, mountain, woodland, and desert. In Birds of a Feather, there are two areas for cards. The outside zone is called the arriving birds area and is where birds are played to. The inside zone is called the lingering birds area and is where birds from the previous round go. Now that we know all the terms in the game, let's talk about setup. First, give every player a score sheet. Next, shuffle the deck of cards. and deal out a number of cards to each player according to the chart shown on the screen. Set the leftover cards aside. In a 4-7 to seven player game, these cards will not be used. However, if you're playing with two or three players, form the rest of the cards into a deck. Now we are ready to play. Birds of a Feather takes place in rounds, and all players play simultaneously. At the beginning of a round, first everyone secretly picks a bird from their hand that they want to observe and places it face down on the table. When everyone is ready, they reveal their cards at the same time. If there are fewer than four players, one player draws cards from the top of the remaining cards deck until there are four birds in the arriving area. Now to show you how a round properly plays, we are going to skip forward to the next turn because what happens next does not happen in the first turn. If there are any raptors in the arriving birds area, they scare away all the birds in the lingering birds area that share the same habitat. Simply discard them. None of the arriving birds are discarded. Next, everyone marks down all the remaining birds in both the arriving and lingering areas that share the same habitat as the bird they just played, including the one they just played. Only score birds that are new to that player. Seeing the same type of bird a second time does not score any points. After scoring, discard all the birds in the lingering bird area and move all arriving birds into the lingering bird area. You are now ready to start the next round. The game ends when everyone has one card left in their hand at the end of a round. This card is a tiebreaker. If you use the app, your score has already been calculated. If not, calculate the score as follows. Add up the number of stars beneath the birds you scored. If you scored every bird in a habitat, you'll mark the all section for that habitat and add in its three stars. Then add up the total from each habitat. The player with the most points wins. In case two more players have the same score, whoever has the most all sections scored wins. If there is still a tie, tied players compare the cards still in their hands. The player whose bird is furthest right on the score sheet wins. In the event there is still a tie, the player whose bird comes from the habitat furthest up on the score sheet wins. If there is still a tie, they share the victory. Once you've played the game a few times, you may wish to add in a variation for more strategy. The migration variant introduces a card passing mechanic at the end of setup. Once all cards have been dealt, players will choose a number of cards based on the player count to pass to the player on their left. Play then proceeds as normal. 
If you have two or three players, instead of choosing the migration variant, you may wish to choose the drafting variant. Instead of dealing out 15 cards during setup, each player gets 10. At the same time, they choose one card to keep and one card to put into a deck. If you're playing with two players, each player makes a separate deck to draw from. Pass all unused cards to your opponent. If you have three players, they instead create a communal draw deck to share. Then they pass their unused cards to the player on their left. Repeat this process of picking up one card to keep and one to put into the deck. And then passing the rest until you're out of cards. Once you're out of cards, draw 10 new cards and repeat this process until you're out of cards. Alternate which direction you pass cards to each time new cards are drawn. Shuffle the deck or decks and begin play. Play the game as normal, but draw the arriving extra birds from the deck formed. One from the communal deck or one from each player's deck. So there are always four arriving birds every turn. Birds of a Feather can also be played solo, with some special rules. First, deal yourself 13 cards. Now pick one bird to play. It will determine your habitat. In solo play, raptors do not remove any cards from the table. Reveal the top three cards of the deck. Next, take the birds you played, as well as any lingering or arriving birds that share habitat with it. Put them aside into a score pile. As usual, clear out all the lingering birds and move the remaining arriving birds into the lingering birds area. Finally, discard one card from your hand and draw the top card of the deck. You now know how to play Birds of a Feather Western North America. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please like, subscribe, join our Discord, our Patreon. From the Board Game Rundown, I'm Spencer. Go grab your binoculars, and thanks for watching.